So I spent some time looking through some of these, uh, all these other video responses, giving it some thought and everything. I, I thought I'd do another uh, follow-up video. Uh, some of the things I've thought about sharing with everyone. Uh, first of all, um, I'm going to go ahead and avoid confrontation here, and I don't care who says it makes me childish or whatever, but I'm going to say the N-word and the F-word. Uh, the F-word meaning not fuck, obviously. Um, you know what I'm saying is the point. I shouldn't have to tell you exactly what I'm talking about. You know. And I know that a lot of people are saying, well, if we know the words, why don't we just say it? Well, there are multiple layers of reasons that I'm just going to avoid using them altogether. I want to make it very clear that I'm not comfortable using those words. And, uh, one of the people, Chaotheus, and I'm not sure if I'm pronouncing that correctly, but it looks like a mixture of the words chaos and theist, so... Uh, he made some good points about differences uh, between the two slurs. Uh, how the N-word is insulting in that uh, it denotes an inferior status upon the person that you're directing it to. Uh, it's more of a condemnation uh, of his words. Uh, whereas the F-word, he said it was an accusation that uh, you were hiding something, uh, being your sexuality, of course. Um, I agree with him on the first part about the N-word. Uh, it is a condemnation. It is uh, denoting a status. It's saying, uh, you are inferior to me, and I expect these things from you. But uh, the F-word, I partially agree. Um, it is an accusation, but a lot of times it's used uh, by people who know that the person they're using it on is, in fact, gay, or bi, or uh, queer, whatever, not straight. Uh, so it can't then be an accusation that you're hiding something, but I do still think it's an accusation. And it's very loaded, because most of the people who are homophobic, are religious. Uh, not all of them. I know there are a few, few exceptions, but they're so rare. Almost everyone who is homophobic, everyone I've personally met that's homophobic has been religious. So one of the things that uh, you're accusing someone of when you call them the F word is that they've gone against God, they're being immoral, um, they're doing something wrong, and they're doing it on purpose. That's the biggest accusation, they're doing it on purpose. Uh, they're saying, you're not born with this, uh, you're fucked up, uh, you're perverted, you're... There's, it, there's a lot of loaded accusations, and I don't think the fact that you're hiding something is necessarily one of them. It can be. People can uh, accuse you of hiding it, but it's not really uh, in with the accusations calling someone the F-word. It's kind of a, a separate accusation. It, it goes alongside it a, long a lot of times, but... A lot of times it doesn't, because it's said by people who are very obviously not, two people who are very obviously not hiding it. Um, I wanted to touch on something else, though. I think that using these words by the people in the communities can be pretty devastating to those people, to themselves. Uh, the N-word, or either word, it doesn't matter. I, in fact, I'll use the F-word as an example, because I'm bisexual, so no one can accuse me of being homophobic. Uh, let me get my bearings here. 
if we say that uh, you can't use the word unless you're one of us, then we're giving the word power. We're saying it's offensive. And then when we turn around and use it on each other, uh, then we're basically insulting each other. Because we've already said, hey, this word is offensive. Hey, you know what? You're a fucking faggot. I know, I just said I said I wouldn't, but... Fuck you guys. Anyway, the point is... when it, I know a lot of people say... I'm going to backtrack here. Uh, why do you guys get to use the word, but we can't? Isn't that a form of racism or uh, prejudice in the other case? But I think while that argument isn't totally without validity, it's a pretty shitty argument. And this one that I'm making, uh, I'm against uh, the communities using the uh, slurs on themselves for the entirely different reason that they remain slurs. You can pretend that they don't, but they do. They still have a sting. If, uh, if I call one of my gay friends a faggot, it doesn't matter that neither of, it, neither of us is uh, heterosexual. It's still a slur. We're still being mean to each other. And we may not be consciously trying to be that way, purposefully trying to be that way. It might not be the motivation, but we know what kind of word that is. And we know that, even though we're using it playfully, that there's kind of a hidden layer of it still being an insult. And so it's kind of still psychologically damaging. And, and I, I'm not a psychologist, so maybe you can say I'm not qualified to say this kind of thing. But I think it still affects something in your psyche, and it, and it can cause, I don't know, a lot of buildup, and it can cause... You, you, perpetuating ne negative stereotypes about your own culture, and it's just fucked up. It's wrong. You shouldn't do it. Uh, people in my own community, we shouldn't be saying, hey, faggot, and all this other dumb shit. It's stupid. It's retarded. And same, uh, I'm not black, but same with black people. I, I know some of them agree with, would agree with me that it it becomes sort of black on black racism, just like a, the, using the word faggot is like a, a gay on gay racism, or prejudice, excuse me. You know what I mean. Um, I think uh, that's really, I think I've covered everything there. I know I kind of stumbled through this, I didn't really, I kind of started up the camera without having a total plan of what I was going to say, but uh, I hope I got all my points across. Thanks for listening.